Hi, this is Bill Wetzel from TheSurfRatsFall.com. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about landing a fish while perched up on a rock. Now, I'm not talking about jetties. I'm talking about basically rocks in the surf. Um, I see a lot of guys um, that really don't have an understanding on how to land a fish from a rock. I see a lot of broken rods, broken tips, uh, guys wiping out, getting hurt, um, messes up the fish, messes up the surf caster. So um, I hope you enjoy this tip and we can discuss it further for all the subscribers and members of the surfratsball.com. If you're not a member of the surfratsball.com, I really suggest you get in there. It's worth the 35 bucks a year, trust me. All right, so I'm standing on my rock. I'm actually standing on a cooler in my backyard, but this is, this, pretend this is the rock and this is the water and it's coming in at me this way. So the first thing I would recommend is getting your feet over, the tip of your feet over the rock. The reason for that is when the waves are coming in and they hit you, you're going to have a little extra cushion. Sometimes you can't do that because it's just a, simply a small rock. So, I got my feet over the rock. And now I'm going to show you how to land the fish. So, always rod between your legs. I got the rod between my legs. Now what you want to do is, what you don't want to do, is you don't want to have the fish in front of you like this. So the fish is in front of you, the wave is going to hit, the wave is going to hit the fish, knocking the fish and the plug into you. And then you're going to have hooks in your waders and you're going to be a miserable human being. Hooks in your waders, hooks in your skin, so you don't ever want to take off the fish in front of you or have it in front of you at all. So what you want to do is you want to come around, bring the fish around, bring it around, always ride between your legs. Now you, what you don't want to do is this. Reel it all the way up here and then, and then the fish is hanging. You'll break your rod, you'll never get the fish off. The other thing that you don't want to do is this. I see guys do this all the time. What happens when a wave comes in, takes your rod and goes like this. You have no control at all. Another thing that's going to do is potentially break your rod. You're holding the rod up here. That is always a, a, a rookie herb move right there. That's what that is. Don't do it. So instead, what you want to do is come around on the side of your rock. Have plenty, plenty of line out so you can grab the leader. I recommend maybe like 10 feet or more. So, so now you're here. You don't have to ever get down from your rock unless it's a huge fish. And that, or, or, or something's happening, you might want to get down with your rock, but in general, no. What you want to do is grab, then you grab the leader. I'll grab my leader. Notice my hand is still, my, my rod is still between my legs. Now my arm, now the rod itself is resting on my forearm right here. So I have f complete control and full, full support of the rod. Now all I have to do is reach down. Now I, I can take off my boga at this point, do whatever I want, I can boga the fish, or I can just simply grab the head of the plug, or whatever to, to get the fish. Another thing you might want to try is even go in the back, turn around, where the waves are hitting you in the back. The only problem with that is, you can't see the waves, and believe me, if you're not, if you're not Looking at the waves, you need to be listening to the waves. Looking and listening all the time. Because one wave will knock you on your ass and you'll be back 20 feet. Especially in big water. Now in small water, it's not that bad. But in big water, it's, it can be uh, 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 pretty hairy. So once again, don't ever, take the, don't ever take the fish off in front of you. Bring it around to the side or even the back. You don't need a partner. You don't need help doing it. Um, if, you, if you do it this way. And that is it. Please consider subscribing to the surfratsball.com. Um, you'll get all my log, my daily log. It's been, it goes back to 2002. It's like a thousand pages if you print it out. We got the tournament coming up, all kinds of crazy stuff. Definitely worth your $35 a year. I'll see you there.